Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows computer where Windows has detected an IP address conflict. So, in order to go about resolving this problem, it should be pretty straightforward. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy them out individually or you can just type them in directly as it appears on my screen and go to the top bar of the command prompt window for the first command which should say IP config space forward slash flush DNS. So copy that from my description and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on the keyboard to run that. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second command here. So again, just copy from my description. Go to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Hit enter. You will have to restart your computer in order to complete the reset, so I would suggest restarting your computer at this time, and then hopefully I would have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can do if you close out of here would be to go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in Control Panel. Best match to come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to set your view by to either large or small icons, and now you want to go select the Network and Sharing Center option. On the left side, now underneath access type connections, you want to select whatever connection type is listed here. There should be a hyperlink. So in my case, it says Ethernet. It might say Wi-Fi or it might have a specific personalized name in your case, but I just want to go ahead and left click on that. Select the Properties button. And now you want to select Internet Protocol version 4, and then in parentheses it should say TCP slash IPv4. Go ahead and left click on that, and then select Properties. Make sure it says obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server address automatically are both selected here. And then go ahead and left click on OK. If you had to change them from something else, maybe there was a different address in there, go ahead and just left click on OK, save out of that and close and restart your computer. Hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. One further thing you can try would be to open up the start menu once more, type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings, go ahead and left click on that. And now when you've got up and running, select Internet Connections, find and fix problems with connecting to the Internet or to websites, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So if you have a specific website issue with a particular web page, select the second option. Otherwise, just select Troubleshoot My Connection to the Internet. So hopefully be able to find a problem if there was one. I'm not currently experiencing a problem, but hopefully that be able to go about addressing it as well. So go ahead and close out of here. Restore your computer. Hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. Also check and see if you have any loose cables. So make sure if you have an Ethernet cable hooked up to your computer, make sure that everything is connected properly. So maybe consider unplugging and plugging back in, as well as resetting your router. So there might be a reset option built into your router. So you push a button and it will restart it. Or you can just try unplugging it from the wall and then waiting about 30 seconds and then plug it back in. And hopefully that might be able to get you back up and running as well. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.